Hello, everyone. My name is Bobby. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Denote. It's great to be here, so thank you all for coming. And today I want to talk about how we plan to improve the funding cycle for digital businesses with our software platform. But first, just to level set, I'm sure many of you will have gone through some kind of formal financing process, but maybe some of you may have not. So let's talk about the status quo. And by the way, it's not pretty. First, you have to find a capital provider. This can be a time-consuming dream and a distraction on your business. You can try bank financing. However, this option uh, has decreased for small businesses by 41% in absolute terms since the crisis. Not to mention it's increasingly difficult for digital businesses as they lack physical assets to collateralize. Also, you can try bank, you can try online lending. However, this option is difficult for digital businesses because they require personal uh, guarantees or credit checks and oftentimes don't underwrite risk specifically for digital businesses. So, and even if you are approved, it's just capital, right? You're not receiving any additional guidance, feedback, or recommendations to help you manage that capital into its maturity. So, as you can tell, financing your digital business isn't just about capital, it's a whole process that the market currently doesn't have a comprehensive solution for. And most concerning, there hasn't been uh, significant improvement over the last several years. And this problem will continue to compound. Digital businesses represent the fastest growing sector in our global economy, and we expect this trend to continue. In aggregate, this will represent a multi-trillion dollar market opportunity. So about a year ago, we had to know decided to experiment with revamping the process. So what if we integrated with a digital merchant's tech stack and gave that entrepreneur the ability to evaluate their business, developing into credit worthiness over time? Also, what if we decided to rip out the loan application completely and replace it with an API? There'd be no need for credit checks. You wouldn't have to uh, fill out any loan application questions, right? And because of this process, we'd be able to give entrepreneurs easy access to multiple third-party lenders in real time. And most importantly, provide clear and actionable <coughs> feedback based off of data analysis. So we gave it a shot. Over the summer, we ran a private beta test, and we went back completely after the fact and surveyed the merchants in this private beta test, and we found that most of the merchants in this test were financing their business with personal credit cards, which isn't super surprising, right? What was more surprising is that over 42% of the merchants in this test had healthy bank revenues, uh, bank balances and revenues, which would fit them well within the credit box of multiple third-party lenders. So how do we connect them to these third-party lenders? Well, we do it with software. This is a screenshot of our credit as a service product. It's currently in private beta, as I mentioned. We'll be making it generally available cohort by cohort as we prepare for our public launch. And our goal is to become the dedicated capital platform for digital businesses. And how it works, you can think of our software in three phases. Prior to funding, we help the merchant integrate uh, with our software and we help them germinate through the funding cycle. During funding, we give them access to multiple third-party lenders and optionality, and post-funding, we help the business allocate the capital across their digital media mix to realize maximum return on investment. It's by providing this value at every stage of the funding cycle, we're able to differentiate from our competitors, like LendingTree, Lendio, and Become. And we monetize the software using a freemium subscription-based model. Our pro and prime plan customers receive highly targeted and actionable feedback as they germinate through the funding cycle. Everyone on the team is self-taught developers or has professional uh, development experience. Our angels and advisors have over 100 years of industry experience. We don't deserve our angels and advisors. And earlier this year, we participated in the FinTech South Innovation Challenge. And recently, we're accepted into Plug and Play. And we're currently raising a half a million dollar pre-seed, and I'll leave you guys with that, and I will uh, happily open it up for questions for anyone in the audience. Thanks so much. So how many entrepreneurs do you have on the platform today? That's a great question. Uh, so right now we have a wait list for our beta, and that is north of 200 merchants. However, we have, uh, we've given access to 50 merchants on the software right now. 
Okay, but those are merchants, but those are merchants that are going to feed to the entrepreneurs. So how are you getting the entrepreneurs onto the platform? I'm sorry, the merchants are the entrepreneurs. They, they run shop. Okay, so you're doing it in that way. Okay, thank you. Now I understand. Can you describe what your target customer looks like and then what your go-to-market strategy is to reach them? Great question. So our target market uh, are digital uh, entrepreneurs, e-commerce store owners, SaaS companies, uh, businesses that don't run their business uh, in the physical world, right? And so we're starting with a focus, a niche focus on um, e-commerce, more specifically Shopify. However, we plan to expand to adjacent verticals as we expand. Uh, in terms of go-to-market strategy, our goal is to uh, create a presence in the various distribution channels. So for example, the Shopify App Store, we wanna have a presence there. We wanna have a presence in the um, channel partnership uh, section of ClearBank. We want to uh, be a Connect Stripe partner. Uh, so it'd be easily accessible for these businesses to find us on the various marketplaces. Can you say more about your competitive advantage and what you're offering that's different than like the lending trees? I know you talked about the different phases, but are you given like one-on-one -on -one coaching? What does that look like as an entrepreneur? Uh, that's a great question. So uh, the way we differentiate from our competitors, if you think about lending tree, you're filling out this loan application and then you send it out to multiple uh, lenders and you receive uh, approvals, right? Well, with our software, First of all, you don't fill out any applications. The product is designed to be uh, a data integration. So from day one, you integrate your um, bank account or your payment processing, and then over time, as your business germinates into creditworthiness, we're sending you push notifications from approval. So it's a streamlined play, but additionally, we wanna provide value after you raise capital. We feel that there's a ton of real estate there. What are the metrics you need to hit to raise your next round? So you're raising 500K right now. What is that going to get you to? We're super bullish about reinvesting in the product to monetize the software. We feel if we hit at least $5,000 in MRR, we should have uh, the metrics that substantiate that round. How, how many users, active users is that? Right now we have 50 merchants using the software. None of them pay. We plan to turn on monetization this quarter. 